now that you've imported your tree from Family Search, you can still keep everything in sync as things change. This allows you to keep control of your Family Search tree because you'll maintain your own personal copy at Roots Finder. You can then accept or reject changes to your tree. To do this, go to a person's profile page. Click the Family Search icon under the Profile header, then Review Changes. You'll see your Roots Finder information on the left and the corresponding Family Search profile on the right. At first, these two will be identical because you just downloaded your tree. But over time, you'll gain new information and perhaps new information will be added to your Family Search tree. So when you find something new you want to contribute, use the right arrow to send it to Family Search, along with a reason about why you believe this information is correct. And if there's something new at Family Search, use the left arrow to bring it into Roots Finder. If you want to see a history of all the changes that have been made to this profile at Family Search, use this Changes function here at the top. This will open the profile at Family Search and show you all the changes that were made and by whom for the person. You can contact people directly through Family Search to discuss any questions you may have about a particular change there. When you're done, return to the person's profile page at Roots Finder. You'll see any new information you added in the timeline, media, and family sections. You can also download more generations starting with this person at any time by clicking the Family Search icon under their profile, then clicking Download More Generations. And that's how you'll stay in sync with Family Search.